Hey, welcome to Phoenix, Arizona, the fastest growing city in the United States. If you haven't been to Phoenix recently, you probably have no idea. It's booming here. We have over 200 people moving to Phoenix every single day. Today, I'm going to tell you my top 14 reasons that everybody loves Scottsdale, Arizona. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Todd Hall, founder of Phoenix Homes and Hotspots right here in the Scottsdale, Arizona. Hey, if it's your first time visiting the number one real estate resource here in the state of Arizona, and you wanna know everything there is to know about the great homes, the beautiful communities, and all the top hotspots that surround them, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel right now, then smash that bell and we'll notify you every time we create new great content video here in Scottsdale and the Phoenix Metro. Now, we're constantly getting phone calls, emails and texts from new clients from all over the world. They're asking for more area information. They're asking for Scottsdale neighborhoods tours, as well as just information in general about the Phoenix Metro. So if you're moving to Scottsdale, Arizona, or thinking about moving to Scottsdale or anywhere else in the Phoenix Metro, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email, and we're gonna be happy to give you the keys to our city. All right, so let's talk about my top 14 reasons that people are flooding to Scottsdale, Arizona right now. And when I say flooding, there are hundreds of people moving to the Phoenix Metro every single day, and most of those people are familiar with Scottsdale, so a lot of them are taking a look to see what Scottsdale has to offer. We have people coming, of course, from California, Los Angeles, San Francisco, San Diego, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, all over the Northwest, um, in the Midwest, Chicago, Detroit, um, and a lot of Midwestern cities. But today, what's different than it was 15 years ago is we now have a lot of people coming from New York, New Jersey, and the East Coast as well. So this this area is getting absolutely flooded. Why is that? Well, here's 14 reasons that people love Scottsdale. Reason number one are our home prices. Now, it is true that Scottsdale, out of all of our, um, between Phoenix and all of our suburbs, which is over 22 cities, um, here in the Phoenix Metro, Scottsdale is fourth in terms of um, the highest price or median home prices. However, from where most of you are coming from, you're gonna find our home prices are really, really affordable. Um, so median home prices here in Scottsdale are 547,000. If you go north, it's gonna be more expensive. The homes are newer, it's gonna be more expensive. You have home prices over 700,000. However, if you're on the south side of Scot Scottsdale, median home prices are more like 381,000. So for many of you, it's still very much uh, affordable and very, very much in play. Um, just to put that in perspective with Phoenix Metro and Maricopa County, median home prices across the valley are about 322,000. So if those prices seem high to you, we have other great areas. But again, many people um, watching this video, depending on where you're coming from, can definitely afford Scottsdale. Now, reason number two are property taxes. Our property taxes here are really, really affordable. So sometimes people say, well, I'm gonna to move to Texas because there's no income tax. Well, before you do that, evaluate the property taxes because the property taxes are about three, if not four times what they are here in Arizona. Coming from California, same thing. We're a fraction of the cost. So figure we're about a half a percent of assessed value, which is again, really, really cheap. It, it, there's a little bit of a range, as low as a half a percent of assessed value can range up a little bit. But again, our property taxes are really affordable. I'm not going to go deep into it right now because I actually did a video that you can check out right above me that talks about a bunch of major metropolitan cities in comparison to Phoenix. And it talks about taxes, cost of living and all that stuff. So check that video out um, right now. Now, reason number three that people love Scottsdale is for our rapid growth. Yes, we have companies, not only people coming here, but we have major companies, tech companies and all kinds of Nike, all kinds of companies coming and building, um, bu building, uh, building up a presence here in Arizona. And so with that, of course, the people follow. So jobs, uh, our jobs are going through the roof. Our, um, 
median incomes are rising. And of course, with that comes infrastructure and everything else um, and, and also appreciation. So Scottsdale, just to give you an example, over the last 12 months, the city of Scottsdale has appreciated 11, at 11.69%, again, over the last 12 months. So lots of growth, reason number three. Now, coming in at number four is overall cost of living. Again, I'm not gonna go really far in depth with this because I shot an entire Scottsdale cost of living video, breaking it down from groceries to housing and everything in between. Um, so again, you can check that video out right above me right now. Reason number five, everybody loves Scottsdale, is for that family aspect. Uh, we'll talk about schools here in just a minute, um, but neighborhoods, great family neighborhoods, parks, recreation, community, lifestyle. I have a client right now that said, hey, Todd, I'm moving to uh, Scottsdale, Arizona, uh, because where I'm from, there's no presence of hockey. I'm a, he's a hockey player, wants his kids to grow up playing hockey, and where he lives right now, there's none of that. Um, not only do we have a professional hockey team, but we have a lot of great places and rinks for, for, um, for, for people to actually play hockey here in Arizona, which seems kind of weird based on our weather um, as far south as we are. But again, so um, there's lots of different reasons that people come here, but that family aspect is number five. Now, number six is traffic. Um, again, where most of you are from, Seattle, California, Chicago, you're used to just gridlock. Uh, Scottsdale was ranked last year as one of the best uh, cities in terms of the lowest traffic. Doesn't mean we don't have it. Of course, the closer you get to downtown during rush hour, yes, you're gonna run into traffic. However, um, overall, our traffic is really, really reasonable, especially with how many people are coming here every single day. Now, coming at number seven is schools. If you've done some research on schools here in Arizona, you've realized that, no, we're not the greatest uh, ranked state in terms of overall schools and school districts. However, there are some really good pockets here in the Phoenix Metro. And if you get into the North Scottsdale area, we have some really nice schools that are highly rated. You're gonna have, of course, some, some really good public schools, charter schools, and private schools up there. The other nice thing about Arizona is we have school choice. So if if you move into Scottsdale and you don't necessarily love the schools that are in that particular district, you can take your kids out of district. I'm getting ready to shoot an entire school video, so you can check that out. Just keep an eye out for it in the comments below. And as soon as we uh, shoot that video, I'll have that video there and available for you. All right, now my eighth reason is I call Scottsdale a lifestyle diverse city. And what I mean by that is there's literally a community for everyone. So I mentioned earlier, if you're further south in Scottsdale, median home prices are lower. As you get further north, um, they become higher. However, there's still really uh, price points for most of you um, here in the Scottsdale area. Of course, as I mentioned, the uh, you know prices have increased quite a bit and are continuing to increase, but right now you can still find really nice homes at an affordable price. Now, of course, there's also great co uh, golf communities. We're very well known for golf, so great golf communities um, for anybody that's a business professional or maybe a retiree. There's really good active nightlife um, communities for millennials, which would be down here in South Scottsdale. Um, you have newer condos if you like a maintenance-free lifestyle. And of course, you have some of the greatest luxury living at its finest in North Scottsdale around, again, many of those amazing golf communities. So again, reason number eight um, is lifestyle diversity here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Now coming in at reason number nine is entertainment. Uh, you know, Scottsdale itself, we have festivals, a lot of festivals, especially in the spring, but also in the fall and winter months. You're gonna have the, uh, some really huge events like the Waste Management Phoenix Open that takes place in, in uh, late January, early February. You have the Barrett Jackson Auto Auction, as well as two spring training facilities that really, um, it's just a jam-packed winter and spring here. Always something to do outdoors. As far as the Phoenix Metro itself, we also have a Broadway style shows in downtown Phoenix and, and in Tempe at ASU. Um, we have four major sports teams here in Arizona. So you have hockey, basketball, football, and baseball. And we have some great comedy clubs, not just here in Scottsdale, but also around the Phoenix Metro. So again, really good entertainment um, for yourself, for the family. Um, so that's reason number nine. 
Now, reason number 10, not necessarily a reason people come here, but an added bonus is really good restaurants. The culinary experience, especially here in Scottsdale, as well as downtown and uptown Phoenix, uh, you're gonna find some of the best restaurants you'll find anywhere in Arizona and, and actually anywhere on the West Coast. We're really well known for our restaurants. The Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport is actually always ranked in the top um, couple airports for best food because they have local restaurants right inside of the airport there. So if you're ever in the Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport, by the way, stop in and check out some of the restaurants and you can get a little taste of what Phoenix has to offer. Reason number 11 is the weather. I left kind of some of the obvious towards the end here. Weather, eight months out of the year, it's perfect. This year has been a little bit hotter, um, but as a general rule, you're going to get about four, a little over four months out of the year, over 100 degree highs. The rest of the year is absolutely perfect. You can golf here year round. You can hike here uh, most of the year. And when I say year round, if you can tolerate golf in the summer months, you may not hike in the summer, but eight months out of the year, you're going to do a lot of these things. Um, so people move here because of the weather. You want to get out, especially for those winter months, you want to get out of the cold. You might be somebody that's just going to come down here on a part-time basis and live out here as a snowbird. And we have lots of that as well. So again, the weather being that major factor. Reason number 12, where we have close proximi proximity to other really cool cities. So if you want to get to the beach in California, six hour drive. Now for me, that's nothing for you. That might sound like a long drive, but it's really not. I mean, six hours to the beach, you can get down to Rocky Point in Mexico, beautiful white sandy beaches, blue water and Rocky Point in about two and a half hours. You can get up to Vegas in th uh, four hours, roughly give or take, depending on where you're at in the valley. So again, you have really great proximity. If you want to do day trips, if it's the summer months and you want to get out of that hundred degree heat, you can go up to Flagstaff, Payson, um, um, Sedona and it'll cool off about 20 degrees up in those cities here in Arizona which are only an hour and a half to two hour drive from most of the, of the Phoenix Metro so really easy to get into some other cool places to tour explore and and check out that has great proximity here to the Phoenix Metro now, number 13 is outdoor activities. We talked about golf. Of course, we're known for amazing golf here in Arizona, especially Scottsdale. Some of the best um, golf courses in the, in the country are actually in terms of top 100 ratings are here in North Scottsdale. Um, so you have golf, you have hiking, biking, um, some great parks, community parks, and as well as neighborhood parks, depending on what community you actually live in. Um, so reason number 13 are those outdoor activities. And then coming in at number 14 is the prestige of Scottsdale. Uh, now, some people are going to, I have to comment on this because somebody is going to comment below Snobsdale or Snotsdale or something like that. Never quite understood that, but Scottsdale does have kind of a certain prestige to it. Um, when you have a Scottsdale address, people just recognize it as one of the more prestigious communities here in the state of Arizona. So again, that's reason number 14, um, prestige of living here in Scottsdale, Arizona. So there you have it, the top 14 reasons that make Scottsdale such a popular place to live and play. Now, if you haven't already, do be sure you subscribe to our channel, then smash that bell, and that way we can notify you every time we create new great content here in the Phoenix Metro. Also, if you're moving to Scottsdale or thinking about moving to Scottsdale, you have questions, you wanna set up area tours, you wanna to see homes, you wanna see communities, you wanna see some of our top hotspots, all you have to do, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or you can even drop us a message in a bottle. Whatever method works for best for you, uh, we're gonna be happy to set up those tours, give you more information about Phoenix, and most importantly, help you make a smooth transition if you're thinking about moving to Scottsdale, Arizona, or anywhere in the Phoenix Metro. Now, check out some of my other popular videos right here.